pool first, hatch first from the Zerg player, and we'll take it from there. All righty, in the top left corner, representing Envis Gaming, we have Ghoul. And in the bottom right, we have the Reg Zerg playing for pass gaming effect. Bam. You know, when I go into the VOD, I should open Vegas first, add like some John Cena intro music and shit as we do the intros, yeah. and it'll just be like <laughs> fucking epic. <laughs> yeah. You know that sounds good. That's a solid idea. Yeah, that's, that's, that's always just a great idea all around. All right, so interested to see what these players have to throw up against one another. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, no proxy reaper. Um. Okay, this is really strange. Do you want to CC first? Uh, we're about to see here. Uh, we got scouting SUV going out. Looks like it's a right. hatch first from the Zerg player. Maybe he just made a really bad mistake. Oh, uh, it looks like a CC first. Yeah, definitely a CC first. That's so confusing. It's not going to go punished either as we don't see a pool first. No links flying around the map. Nothing greasy like that. Uh, yeah. We'll see when it gets scouted. If it'll opt for a quicker third or go for a two base timing off of that. We do see a pool drop down and gas just started. So the gas, um, the speed's going to be a little delayed. Uh, he just pokes and sees the the natural there, and Ghoul's heading back. He's not going to see the the speed, the pool, timing. Uh, I'm sure, it's safe to say we could assume what's going to come there. That speed's coming out. Uh, still would have been like nice to see him poke in there and check, click on the gas geyser, and see what's up. Yeah, I'm a little I'm a little confused on what Ghoul's build is. I'm interested to see. Yeah, he's taking double gas there. Yeah, the only build I know that does this exact same thing with the two racks and all this is a fire bat all in with Ooh. one plus attack with marauders and hits it around six minutes. Interesting. So a bit of a variant from what he went for last game, optic for yeah. the, the marauders. That makes sense with the extra gas there instead of the liberators. Uh, we got the reaper coming up. Uh, no scout yet. Overlord just coming in in range over here for the Zerg player. He'll we be able to see the CC. Form. Ooh, nice, the the Roach Warren this time. I definitely like this call. Roach Warren yeah, that's going to throw his done. opponent off quite a lot. First because the entire series... Out. Yeah, the entire series, he's been playing macro, as far as I know, and going early pressure with Roach. Okay, Roach Ooh. into Lair. Yeah, we definitely see a Lair coming on. The Roach Warren could be for safety purposes. He might start taking more gas geysers, go for a two-base Muta. I'm not too sure yet. It's still too early to sell as he's using all larva just to pump out drones. We got two roaches coming out now. Safety roaches, I guess. Yep. Small supply block okay. from... No, okay. never mind. He's off now. Factory about to come up now for Ghoul. Uh, we got... Stim started. Nice. So I do think it's going to be around a 5, 5.30 timing from the Ghoul. And this may be able to just straight up kill his opponent if... His opponent does not properly scout this, and he just doesn't have the proper response to the units. Bunker going down. Alright, so we're actually tied in workers right now. That Reaper, did he scout over there? The the lack of third base. That's the interesting yeah. call. It looks like he has. He knows so there's no third. He knows something's up. He's seen the Roach Warrant, and in fact, that's the only tech that's going down right now. He's getting Roach speed. I'm, I'm wondering what effect is going to do here because right now the intel is definitely in favor of the Terran player and we see siege tanks already coming down so I don't think he's going to break this position not at all and I think this is really favorable towards the Terran player um wait he canceled his stem oh, okay so he canceled his stem just get the tanks out very fast interesting too and no follow up from this just a bunch of roaches about to march across the map uh Roach speed won't be finished before these even get there. Tank, he sees that, and now he's like, oh, shit, what am I going to do? I don't have high ground vision. I don't have anything. I wonder if this is going to be a Roach Ravager bust, but in fact, he's already started going back into worker production. Drop the third base. I think the best thing that Effect can do right now is try to contain his opponent and stop them from getting the third. No third CC yet. It looks like a two-base timing, and the potential for a Roach Ravager bust Bust could come out of effect, but he really doesn't have enough army supply to commit to this. I, I would hate to see him throw this into a line of tanks. Yeah, and I as I said before, this looks like something from Wings of Liberty with a fast roach speed into a attack on his opponent's natural. It 
is very unorthodox. I've never seen this type of play before. Yeah, Effect cannot afford to toss this army away for free right now. He's got nothing back home. He's already making drones. He's getting speed now. And two tanks up there at the high ground. I really like. Roach speed just finished. Uh... All right, good poking on the bunker. Um, He's going to pull some SAVs and kind of affect his opponent's income just a little bit. And he's going to stir it up. It's no, just about no done. No SAVs were pulled. Ghoul just doesn't really care. I don't think he's thrown off or phased by this by effect. Effect's definitely playing a different style. And you can tell it doesn't seem like he's very familiar with this. Worth the dominance we've seen in Dust Towers with that creep spread. And Game 2 on Invader where I really didn't expect a win from him. But this definitely seems like something new that he may not be as confident with. Yeah, um, we do see pickup and also a siege tank. Um, I'm wondering I if his strategy, damage. however, threw off his opponent because that drone count is definitely in favor of the Zerg player right now. Perhaps uh, the uh, the Terran player cut it a little bit too many corners getting the quicker siege tank. So. Yeah, the army is definitely in favor of the Terran, but the economy is definitely in favor of the Zerg. Yeah, 100%. Uh, I don't know if he's seen that drop coming off, but he's splitting his army up nicely there. Oh, uh, this is really bad with all those overlords. Um, all those can die instantly. Has 300 down the drain. Yep, that's definitely a bad rally there. That will also supply block him as roaches do take a lot of supply. We got a scan going down in the main. Sees everything. Sees the double upgrades that you can only assume roach pressure. But he did catch a spire there. He's gonna catch that spire and be well prepared in advance to deal with anything that effect can throw at him. Yeah, so it seems to like me he's changed up his entire style from the Mutaling Bane into a Roach Rider for the next game. And that can be really um, weird that's a Terran player to face one style so well and lose to it and then face another style. Yep, and uh, I believe Ghoul is really feeling like he needs to put on the pressure or do something here to try to tickle his opponent and whittle him down because of that economic advantage. He's popped in there. He's seen like a fully saturated third base yeah, there. He's playing this really well though, and he's trading cost efficiently. This is all you want to do. You just want to delay the Zerg from moving out and killing you. Exactly. Um, no third base landed yet from Ghoul, but it is complete. It looks like he's going to drop the engineering bay. Double yeah. and an armory. Going for the upgrades now. Uh, Overlord's just still chilling out there in front of the base. Uh, not even moving them yet. That's going to really hurt when the Terran player moves out. This is an unfortunate situation with the Terran because he's going to be down in upgrades. And Roach Ravager is really strong, especially with the upgrades. Yep, if he can hit a nice timing. And those Mutalists, when they pop, uh, he's got a bunch just popped. Six more in production, actually. Very good. Uh, he'll have a total of eight Mutalisks shortly. This will throw back the Medivacs. Uh, give him a bit more map control. Poke at the third. This is a very, very nice setup. I definitely like where Effect is. Uh, I wish he would start more upgrades, but he's definitely got the the resources to do it. I just don't know what he wants to invest his money in. Probably a bunch of Ravagers if it, I were yeah. playing. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to Fester. He loves his late game Zerg, and he loves his Green Lords. Pulling back That's those what, okay. Overlords. Really good move there. Uh, third base going down. It looks like the Zerg player wants to get a little bit aggressive. He's sending Mutalisks and Lings in here. Uh, he's going to be greeted by a bunch of bio and tanks. This is this is not the best situation for there because now his army's split in half. Okay. Yep, he's about to throw his army away there, but he did get a peek at the third base. Already yeah, a third so up. Yeah, the Terran's trading really efficiently, but I do think he does not need that many medivacs. That's really... um, He should, uh, you know, just throw away some of those medivacs and grab more tanks in hindsight. Uh, looking at the income graph, actually, despite the huge work advantage in for effect, uh, we see the Terran player quite a few resources ahead there. This could be the power of mules at that third base, but holy crap, the difference. Yeah, I just think he's making a bad decision transitioning into all the mutas. Yeah, I definitely mean, a lot of mutas. Oh, but he's going to get all these medevacs here. Oh, this is a terrible play by Ghoul. He's losing so much supply, not dropping the tanks. And he, oh, my goodness. The advantage that we thought Ghoul had is just thrown out the window here. Yeah, if he can kill that Liberator, he can clean his entire bio. Oh, but he's mute is fighting. Nice, nice. Marines are gone. He's just going to clean this up right here. Yeah, this might be just be game. There's nothing for Ghoul to react towards this. The one one's just finishing. His entire timing just got thrown off. Yep, from a really good uh, air dominance and there. ground dominance by the Zerg along with the macro. Uh, Looking at the upgrades, too. Uh, he's hitting a very nice timing. 2-2 about to finish on the Roach Ravager play. And he's going to remax on a bunch of links here. Yeah. And, yeah, he has his fourth and his fifth drop down. 
I feel like I that think... is a BM command center right there. As his third's not even saturated, it's like, hey, come at me, bro. I'm 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 taking a command center, but maybe that'll throw off the Zerg. Are we experiencing that... some lag right now? Uh, a little bit of lag, a little bit of slight lag here. Yeah. They might Who call for that, a pause. That not too sure. I think we should pause the game. That was probably pause. the best choice. I can't I pause can. as a spectator. Yeah, neither can I. Alright, it seems to be gone. Okay. We need the referee to give that knock. Give it a sec. Alright, let's let's try. Uh, I don't think they can see your chat as an observer. Yeah, probably not. It's fine though, I think. Still go 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 go. Slam spear. <laughs> Uh, -oh. uh looking here we got hive started too uh wonder where he's gonna go because the later this game goes on the road traveler won't fare as well against the bio but the the sheer numbers right now in the zerg player uh that supply block though as well ready on count i'm not ref unfortunately yeah i think i'm gonna have to slash p i'm not oh, wait, no. ref go 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 Game yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, weird lag spike there. I'm not sure where that came from. Yeah, definitely interesting lag spike. Looks like we're pretty good. Solid countdown. Thank you there, Vans. So, what I've realized about Effect, he loves getting all of his tech. What I like seeing from Effect as just a, a diamond player trying to make it big is that he's flexible on both styles. We've seen uh, some Ling Bane play, and now we're seeing Roach Ravager and some Muta play. Definitely liking that he's got a bunch of options, a bunch of builds to throw at his opponent. Yeah, I really like that because he's a very diverse and really unorthodox player. He's really difficult to play versus a Zerg when you don't know if you're getting all end or if he's just baiting you, you know? Yep, we got an Overlord by the fourth, but it's not close enough to dip in there and see that there is a fourth base landed. This could throw him off. Uh, still very good position for the Zerg player, but uh, as far as workers now, evening quite up and resource collection definitely in favor of the Terran. Terran is getting more resources per minute, but uh, that army value in yeah, the yeah. Mutalist I mean, on the, the field. The economy is evened up, but... As I said before, the army and the tech differential is huge, and we do see some harassment. Utilis flying back. around here, showing some dominance. We got, oh, three, four liberators. Oh, they got to get out of here I so they can take advantage of the regen. Not. They need the dip set. They're all in the orange to red. This is a really bad situation. There's the scout. Out of there. We're just going to lose a couple. Two go down, three go down. Did I get mean, that earlier nice there. this game. It was definitely in Gold's favor. He was trading really well. He's macroing up. He's getting his upgrades. But I think that fight mid game and just in the middle of the map was really devastating to him. We see the and scout go down. He's he sees all the technology, hydralisk yeah. down, upgrades going. He he sees everything. Uh, pathogen glands just finished up, and now we got tunneling claws for Broad Roach. We we're seeing a bit of everything here. It's yeah, he just loves getting everything. Yeah, that could be good and bad. It, it shows that he's not quite sure what he wants to do or what he wants to commit to, or maybe he's not quite sure how to handle his opponent's army, as those resources could be strictly committed to do a, a, a specific set of units, a specific comp to yeah. handle this. Uh, I feel like there may be a bit of confusion on how he wants to approach handling Ghoul's army here. I do think he's in a good situation. He just needs himself a lot of bailings to detonate all over those, and he has around nine bailings. I don't think that's going to be enough. He definitely wants to get some more to deal with. This. He was making Gold drones there, uh, upgrades kicking in. Once these upgrades finish, though, uh, I don't think there's a comeback for Ghoul, but Ghoul's coming in here. He's going to try and get some damage done. See him pushing out. Liberators are siege, and that's the cue for the Zerg player to move in. It looks like he's going to take it in. Liberators aren't going to do anything to this air army, uncontested here. So he got all the Marines out and the Baneling. Oh, Ooh, and that Baneling connection. So that was pretty huge. Yeah, just I cleaned up this game. army. That there's there's no way Ghoul's coming back in here. That is very unfortunate way to go and toss the series. Uh, Ghoul was looking very promising early on in the series, but it looks like Effect's gonna clean this one up for past gaming. Moving on past the qualifiers. Yeah.
Um, I believe he needs to. There's still an opportunity for someone to tie up if he does not win his next series. So his spot in uh, Fight Night's not guaranteed. Not he guaranteed. He still needs to play yeah. one more series. Another expansion going on here, but look at this drone right away coming in here, and it says, "Yo, bro, what are you saying?" Yeah, this I just is my want, base. I want that drone to kill the SCB. <laughs> I, I do too. I'm just waiting for it. It's just chilling. Like, hey, man, what the fuck? I was gonna uh, drop a command set. and there we go. I would have loved to see the drone kill there. Yeah. Very good creep spread, controlling his half of the map, connecting all his bases, uh, just slowly bleeding out his opponent. Yeah, very, um, he plays very strategically, like a Terran player. It's really interesting. Look, going for a bunch of banelings. I think this could be the final move. He just wants to clear things up over here. Almost. Almost. A bit of chirps. Ready to go for it. I like these active mutas. Unlike the other game, he's very active for mutas. He doesn't want to be thrown off by drops. He's got his army. I, I don't like it being in the middle, however. Uh, Ghoul, not sure where he wants to commit. Kind of just moving all over the place with his army. Uh, doesn't have much of an army, so he's got to be very picky with where he keeps it. And it looks like attacks going in, effects going in for this shit. He's got a huge army. Yeah, he's going in. All the bailings are running in there. I think it's a really good hit and the Marines are just Yeah, oh yeah. All the Marines go down. All the mutas are just about dead. Um, ran to a lot of the Soturts and Liberators. But that's besides the point, I think that's this game. No Ultras. I'd like to see some Manor Brutes more from on top of that CC, but... Yeah. He's going... He's opting for the, the Carapace. He opted for the Carapace, level 3. And yeah, that's Effect. Effect taking the series. GG. So this makes